When you think about wine country in the United States, your mind probably jumps to the West Coast. But you might be surprised to hear that Door County has an incredibly unique wine region that's just begging to be explored. And really, who could pair wine with award-winning cheese better than Wisconsin? Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. I am super pumped. I'm kicking off a weekend trip in Door County where I'm going to drive Door County's coastal byway, make a bunch of stops, including at wineries, cheese shops, checking out nature. It's gonna be a great time. Before I embark on my self-guided wine and cheese tour, I thought it would be a good idea to meet with an expert from Destination Door County and talk about everything this unique wine trail has to offer. All right, well, John, thank you so much for meeting with me. We are living the dream here in Ephraim. Food, wine, gorgeous view. What more could you want? I don't know if you could ask for a whole lot more. Great to see you and welcome to Door County. Thank you so much. And I have been a huge fan of Door County, but it's really fun to explore the cheese and wine scene here, which is huge. Tell me about it. Yeah, so right now there are eight wineries along the Door County Wine Trail. So they just all kind of offer something a little different. Many of them will incorporate fruit wine into what they do, of course, the locally grown stuff. But there are also some really neat hybrid grapes that they're growing up here now. And they've been able to produce some really tasty estate grown wines here in Door County now too. So what tips do you have for tourists if they are doing the self-guided tour? Yes. Well, first of all, definitely pick up one of the wine trail maps because that'll give you an idea where they're all located. Depending on how you're kind of touring around the county, just incorporate them into your stops as you're going along. Yeah, and of course, sprinkling in those cheese stops are a fun way to make it very Wisconsin. And one of the most famous is Renard's. I feel like people are constantly mentioning Renard's in Wisconsin. Yeah. And We've got some right here we do, to yes. try. They do, uh, yes. Third generation cheesemaker, uh, Chris Renaner is a master cheesemaker, makes some really, really tasty stuff. They do some neat blends, but also a lot of aged work. And of course, the curds that they make are all over the county. They make them fresh every day, and it's just a, a tasty way to hear a squeak and get a taste of Door County. And I can attest to those squeaks. They are <laughs> real and delicious. Yes. And if people want to learn more about the wine trail, cheese shops, and more, where can they go? All that information and more can be found at doorcounty.com. Easy peasy. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited to check them all out. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Get inspiration for adventures in every corner of our state by downloading the Discover Wisconsin channel on any streaming device. Coming up next, I kick off my journey along the Door County Wine Trail. Discover Wisconsin is back on Door County's Wine Trail. So Door County's Coastal Byway has turned into a designated scenic highway, which means that it's gorgeous. There's nature and views along the way. So I'm excited to make the stops along the Coastal Byway because there's just so much to see. I'm kicking off my wine trail tour here at Stone's Throw Winery. I'm making lots of stops today, and this is a great one to start with. So what do you recommend? I recommend that you try what I'm gonna put in the glass for you. Perfect. A Zinfandel, I love a good Zinfandel. That is so good. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed so it. So good. It's one of my favorites. We are very fond of Zinfandel, and one of the reasons for that is every Zinfandel from every vineyard is completely different than you and I had vineyards next to each other, did everything the same, yours would be different than mine. So this is the owner's choice. It's the owner's choice. I'm definitely glad that I made this place a stop 
because it's in the middle of nature. That's what makes this place unique. And then it has a really cute patio to enjoy the nice, warm, breezy day. And then, of course, to top it all off, I have a cold, crisp glass of Chardonnay. Driving and making stops along the Door County Coastal Byway is a really cool, unique experience. It's so relaxing and it's a self-guided tour, so I can do whatever I want to do, whatever suits my personality, my vibe, my mood, and I've been able to do a mix of things. Door Artisan Cheese is a great place to see how cheese is made. They even blasted out their own cheese caves 18 feet below the surface, where they now age many of their award-winning cheeses. One of the stops I really loved was Sequist Orchards. I got an awesome peek at how they shake their cherries off the trees. Fun fact, they actually produce over 8 billion pounds of cherries a year, many of which go into the wines produced here in Door County. One of the perks of a self-guided tour is that I've really enjoyed setting my own pace. So if I go somewhere I especially like, I might stay a little bit longer. And when there's cheese involved, I tend to do just that. We'll do at least a few, right? Yeah, so let's, uh, yeah, let's work our way down. Sure. There's the farmers. Mm. That's sriracha cheddar. Mm -hmm. and obviously our fresh cheese curd. Mm -hmm. Mild ranch flavor to mm -hmm. it. It's out really good. And then, of course, our Wisconsin beer chugger. I like this girl. She just keeps them coming. One thing I don't like about a typical road trip is the stress of getting lost. And what's great about driving in Door County is everything is just either a long or a short drive off of the coastal byway. I'm at Lautenbach's Orchard Country Winery and they have quite a lot to offer. In addition to a ton of wines, they also have the vineyard right here, the orchard as you see behind me. They've got an incredible gift shop with all the cherry things you could ever imagine. Cherry salsa, cherry dressing, cherry topping, endless cherries. Only a Wisconsin winery would have beer. Just in case you need a chaser. I'm currently at Door 44, and bottom line, they've got great wines. They also have an excellent patio, and I'm seeing some furry friends over there, so if you've got a dog, this is the place for you. Each winery has a different experience. Some provide a flight, and others do traditional tastings in a wine glass. You don't know what you're going to experience until you get there, and when you do, it becomes very clear what that winery is known for. So it's been really great to embrace each unique experience. Get the inside scoop on more of our favorite places to visit in Wisconsin by listening to Discover Wisconsin's official podcast, The Cabin. Up next, we're heading to Door Peninsula Winery here on Discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin is back in Door County at the Door Peninsula Winery. So today I was at Door Peninsula Winery and kicked it off with a tour and I feel like I learned so much, not only about Door Peninsula's story, but also about winemaking in general. So first I met with Rob and he was great at giving me a tour and telling me about the history of Door Peninsula Winery. It has such a rich history because that used to be a schoolhouse and I definitely got an education in wine, that is for sure. 1974 is when the winery did open. Uh, just two winemakers, six bottle filler, three tanks in the back, so. You've grown quite a bit. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Now we produce about a little over 200,000 gallons of wine per year. Uh, one of the top producers of wine here in Wisconsin. One of the things I loved seeing was the evolution of their labels, because it really just pointed out that they've been at this for a while. Uh, when we started the winery here, we just made what was abundant in the area. Uh, slowly has progressed. We do bring in some grape juice from California, still do all the production. Otherwise, we are part of the Wisconsin Ledge AVA and grow our own grapes as well. After seeing the basement of the schoolhouse, we went up to the shop. 
What I love most about this winery is just how much they have to offer. There's a full line of olive oils and vinegars. There's cheese, jams, cherry flavored everything, and world famous fudge made on site by Barb, a veteran fudge maker for over 30 years. In terms of wine, they have over 60 varieties to choose from, so I can guarantee you'll find something here for any palate. I really loved talking with Alan, the head winemaker here. I feel like I learned so much about the winemaking process. So we have arrived in the vineyard and these grapes will go on to make the wines that customers get to try. They do. Um, we have this really good term in the winemaking world called terroir, and that's where you make and grow the grapes. So you're tasting the place. So you're tasting Door County right here and these grapes that you see on either side of us. And I felt a lot more connected to the wine that I was tasting because I knew that a lot of the ingredients were sourced from this region and then part or all of the wines that I were drinking were made right here. So tell me what happens here in the beginning. So uh, what we do is we crush the fruit outside and then we bring it in as, as juice and then we want to introduce a microorganism called yeast that converts all that fun sugar that we have from the fruit into CO2, heat, and alcohol. Once we're done with that first step of the process, then where do we go? We go to the aging tanks, which are in different locations around the cellar. But they wind up coming right back here where we're doing the final little touches to see if it's ready to go, making sure it's all bottled ready. And they are serious about bottling. Their machine can bottle over 5,000 bottles a day. But what has me even more excited is tasting the wine. So is there a particular order we're supposed to go in? Yeah, so anything can influence a wine tasting, uh, whether it's you're sitting outside or inside or the type of wine glass you have, and particularly what you're eating with it, which we're not eating anything, but the order is very important. One wine can very much affect the wine before it in positive or negative ways. So the winemaker is thinking about their nose. Okay. So what you want to do, we're not going to swirl this one because it has bubbles in it, but okay. normally you'd swirl it. But since the bubbles are going, you want to get your nose in there. Okay. You want to take in all the aromas because that's going to tell you all kinds of different things. And then you want to look at the wine. You want to take in uh, the clarity of what it is. It's a white wine or a cider. Mm -hmm. yep. And then you can go ahead and sip it. Awesome. And the other trick to wine tasting is that you're smelling on the front end, but your the back end of your nose also picks up a lot of the aromas. So when you're saying it tastes like cherry, you're actually saying it smells like cherry because it's oh. the back end of your, your, your olfactory. Oh, interesting, yeah. interesting. The culture and atmosphere was really unique. It had everything you would want in a winery without the bad stuff. There was no pretension, there was no snootiness, there was still that Wisconsin welcoming vibe, very down to earth. Certainly if you don't know how wine is made, it's a great place to learn about it. Binge all of the Discover Wisconsin episodes from this season on the Discover Wisconsin YouTube channel. Coming up next, I head to Harbor Ridge Winery for an exclusive tour and tasting. Discover Wisconsin is back. Last stop, Harbor Ridge Winery. You know, it's the most perfect, beautiful day, and yet I'm still stressed over this big decision I have to make. For my second glass of wine, do I go with a red or a white? And if I go with a red, do I go with the Cab or the Zinvindel? I mean, these are the things that I just really need to talk out, so I really thank you for listening to me. It's hard to find a good listener these days. Today I am at Harbor Ridge Winery in Door County and I'm drinking wine and it's amazing. I've been to Napa and Sonoma, but I didn't know that I could find that same peace and beauty and delicious wine in my own backyard in Door County. Thanks for having me. What a perfect Welcome. summer day. And I know right here we have your fan favorite wine, Carmen's. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, Carmen's is our number one selling wine. It is a Concord grape. Um, so it really will bring you back to those childhood days of Welch's grape juice. Just with a little bit of a kick, it's gonna sneak up on you. 
And you've got some really fun names. For example, my favorite, the Muscato. Does it get any more Wisconsin <laughs> than that? And I know you were the genius behind the Savvy Blonde here. Tell me about it. Sure, so Savvy Blonde, I really wanted a Sauvignon Blanc. And the real story is I really wanted a blonde French Bulldog and I was told no. Oh, so this is as so close I as it, it gets. <laughs> so you get to drink one. And this one doesn't bark, you don't have to clean up after it, you don't have to make sure it's fed, just all you gotta do is drink it. Easiest kind of dog out there, yeah. yes, I love it. Um, and. What's so cool too about going to a vineyard or a winery is you get some insight into the process mm -hmm. and a lot of the production happens here in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an overview of that process? Yeah, and all of our wines are made here in Wisconsin. We do get our grapes from all over the country, California, New York, state of Washington. Some uh, right behind us. Some right behind us. Awesome. So all Wisconsin made wines. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to check out more of the winery. One of my favorite things about drinking wine at a winery is you get to be a part of the process. It's a really special behind the scenes experience that you're not gonna get when you just buy a bottle of wine from a liquor store. So a lot of people wouldn't think about growing grapes mm -hmm. in Wisconsin because you think about Sonoma, Napa, right. France, but I've heard that we have a pretty good climate yeah. for it. Why is that? It's all about what the varietals can handle. Um, this grape that we have on a state here is called the Marquette grape and it was actually a hybrid grape that was developed from the University of Minnesota. And so it all is just on what the soil, the temperature when you harvest, it all depends on how hardy the grape can be. All right, so this is what we call the actual winery. So this is where we store and age all of our oak age um, and even some of the stainless tanks. Um, so we have about 107 barrels in this room right now. So they are, they're aged here, they work their magic in here. Once they're ready to be bottled, our winemaker comes and picks them back up and then it begins the bottling process. But taking it right from the barrel is absolutely amazing right before it's ready to be bottled. And we can try some right now, right? Yes, exactly. So we'll go ahead and try our 2018 Sierra Foothills Cabernet. So this is what we call a wine thief. This is one of my favorite, absolute favorite parts. So um, it kind of works just like a straw. So you plug the back end, let it sit in the barrel for a little bit. Get a big old wine thief full of wine. And off it goes into the glass. Wow. Mmm. That is delicious. That's amazing. Yeah, that is really good. The people really make this place stand out. You can tell that Betsy and Chris are so passionate about wine and people. They're so hospitable. Their wine flight offers a unique experience because you get to pick the wines that you want to taste, but you get to take them with you, which is so nice because you can go at your own pace and you can taste with your friends right there on that beautiful patio with the live music in the background. Stream Discover Wisconsin anytime, anywhere on all your favorite devices by downloading the Discover Wisconsin app. You just made it into the episode. Pinky's up. Pinky, pinky all up. Right.